Prayer for the day. It's a beautiful thing to start your day with God. This will undoubtedly spare you of a lot of worries and anxieties that come with fears of the unknowns of each day. And the scriptures recommended this is the best way to go. It says in Philippians chapter 4 verse 6. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. In verse 7 of Philippians chapter 4. The scripture says, And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Let us pray. Pray along with me as I pray. But before then, are you new here, please don't forget to subscribe to our prayer channel. Subscription link in the description box. God bless you. Alright, now. Let us pray. Everlasting Father King of Glory. Thank you for the gift of a new day. A day like no other. A day you have made for us to rejoice and be glad in it. Thank you dearest Heavenly Father, that I am alive to see and witness it. And dearest Lord, since it has pleased you that I see this day, dear Father Lord, provide me also with all that I needed to make the best of it. Because your thoughts for me are for good and not for evil. In Jeremiah chapter 29 verses 11 to 14 O Lord, your word said, for I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. Then you will call upon me and go and pray to me, and I will listen to you. And you will seek me and find me, when you search for me with all your heart. I will be found by you, says the Lord, and I will bring you back from your captivity, I will gather you from all the nations and from all the places where I have driven you, says the Lord and I will bring you to the place from which I cause you to be carried away captive. Therefore dear Lord, let today be unto me according to your thoughts for me, which are of good not of evil. Give me all my noble and good expectations. Let all my prayers that I have prayed and expecting your favorable answers to be manifested unto me today. Hearken dear Lord to all that I will ask of today in prayers O Lord. In accordance with your word of verse 12 of Jeremiah 29. Cause me to seek and to find you today in all areas of my life. And turn away all captivity and everything that constitutes captivity and bondage in my life. Gather and give back to me from all the nations and from all the places where my fortunes and opportunities have been driven or stolen to. In the name of Jesus the Christ, dear Heavenly Father, let today bear me fruits of favor, wealth, fortune, riches, progress and prosperity and all I shall reach out to do. In the name of Jesus Christ, let today mark the end of delays, suffering, failure and near success syndrome in my life and family, in the name of Jesus Christ. Dearest Heavenly Father, let your face shine on me. Let your glory be my shield, my guide, my shade and my protection. In the name of Jesus Christ, cause your goodness and mercy to follow me. Let it be unto me as your word promises in Deuteronomy 28 verse 1. O oh Lord you said, Now it shall come to pass, if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God, to observe carefully all his commandments which I command you today, that the Lord your God will set you high above all nations of the earth. My God, I will diligently obey your voice and carefully observe all your commandments. Dearest Heavenly Father, as your word said in Deuteronomy 28 2-13, Let all these blessings come upon me and overtake me. Let me be blessed in this city, and in the fields thereof. Let the fruit of my body, and the fruit of my ground, and the fruit of my cattle, the increase of my kind, and the flocks of my sheep and all that parteneth to my life be blessed. Let my basket and my store be blessed. Let me be blessed as I go out and as I comest in, and let blessed be every work of my hand this day. In the name of Jesus Christ, Cause all the enemies that will rise up against me and even those that are already up against me to be smitten before my face today. As they shall come out against me one way, and let them be routed and let them flee before me seven ways. Command dear Lord your blessing upon me today, in thy storehouses, and in all that I set my hand unto. Bless me in this land which you have given me. In the name of Jesus Christ. Establish me in holy vessel unto yourself as you hath sworn unto me. If I should keep thy commandments and walk in thy ways. 
Let all the people of the earth see that I am called by thy name, and be afraid to harm or do me evil. As thou hast promised, O Lord, make me plenteous in goods, in the fruit of my body, and in the fruit of my cattle, and in the fruit of my ground, in the land which thou hast sworn unto our fathers to give us. In the name of Jesus Christ, open unto me this day, thy good treasure in heaven to give me rain unto my land in this season, and to bless all the work of my hand, so that I can now be lending unto many nations and not borrowing. In the name of Jesus Christ, as thou hast promised, O Lord, make me today the head and not the tail. Let me be above and not beneath. In the name of Jesus Christ, let today mark a turning point in every area of my life. Let only good locate me with no evils, for your word makes it clear, dearest Lord, in Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22, that the blessing of the Lord it maketh rich, and he addeth no sorrow with it. Father, let your blessings come to me today from every direction to make me rich without sorrows. In the name of Jesus the Christ. Thank you, dearest Lord, for I know you have answered me. For in Jesus Christ's precious name I pray. Amen. Now I pray for you. Everlasting Father, King of glory, I bring these wonderful listeners before your throne of grace this beautiful day which you have made. Dearest Lord, I pray for them this day. Let today be their day of remembrance in accordance with your word of Psalms 102 verse 13 which says, You will arise and have mercy on Zion, for the time to favor her, yes, the set time, has come. Father, let today be the day of all my listeners. Their day of all round turnaround. Their day of favor. The day of their recovery and restoration is promised in Joel chapter 2 from verses 25 through 27 which says, so I will restore to you the years that the swarming locust has eaten, the crawling locust, the consuming locust, and the chewing locust, my great army which I sent among you. You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God, who has dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be put to shame. Then you shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, I am the Lord your God and there is no other. My people shall never be put to shame. Father, let all opportunities to excel and to be great that every listener here has lost be restored unto them today. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let grace and favor speak for them in the places of their businesses, in the places of their works, and in the places of their endeavors. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let it be unto them after the order of Job chapter 22 verses 23 through 30 which says, If you return to the Almighty, you will be built up. You will remove iniquity far from your tents. Then you will lay your gold in the dust. And the gold of Ophir among the stones of the brooks. Yes, the Almighty will be your gold. And your precious silver. For then you will have your delight in the Almighty. And lift up your face to God. You will make your prayer to Him. He will hear you. And you will pay your vows. You will also declare a thing, and it will be established for you. So light will shine on your ways. When they cast you down, and you say, Exaltation will come. Then he will save the humble person. He will even deliver one who is not innocent. Yes, he will be delivered by the purity of your hands. O oh Lord, empower them also today for kingdom stewardship. Help them to serve you and the interest of your kingdom in all their actions and in actions today O Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you dear Heavenly Father, because I know you have heard and have answered. These I pray and ask for every listener here. In the almighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us in this prayer, we appreciate it. Kindly give us a thumbs up to like this video. It will help the video to reach more people. Also, our team will appreciate it if you could share this video with your friends on social media. Are you new here? Subscribe, and leave the notification button on so that you will be notified whenever we release a new video. God bless you.